He said repentance is not for everybody. It's Lord. not for the body of Christ. It's not for the body of Christ. No. Now think of what you said. No place just Apostle a Paul a never teach repentance. Ooh, well, Apostle oh, 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 Paul, just a minute, me. just a minute. Apostle Paul, doctrine, yes. he preached faith and belief. So the apostles never preached repentance. To who? Oh, Not I'm to the body of Christ. They didn't? Not to the body of Christ. They, give me to the, the Jews. Give me the to the Jews, but the not to the body of Christ. Of the book of Acts. Give me the 17th chapter Final of the book of Acts. Here, to the body of Christ. Here, here now. Now, look at the situation he put the body of Christ in. The body of Christ. Just a minute. Colossians 1.18. Just, just a minute, brother. Christ is the head of this body. Just a minute. And this is a spiritual body. Just a minute. God does not have a church, a physical church in this earth. Wonderful. God Can doesn't I... have a physical church just in this earth. He has a spiritual body. Just a minute. And he's the head of the body. Just a minute. Colossians 1.18. Just a minute. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Now, I want everybody to pay attention. Listen at the statement that the apostles never preach repentance to the body of Christ. So no. that means the apostles never preach you should be sorry about your wrong, that you should have remorse about your wrong because you are never convicted about your wrong. So if they never preach repentance to the body of Christ, that's telling me that nobody in the body of Christ need forgiveness. Right. And sisters here, in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas where I live. My brother, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Yes, sir. I hope that you will come back. I will. I hope that you will spread the good news. Yes, sir. That uh, it's better in the Bahamas. And so, I hope you enjoying your stay and your brothers. But the question I have for you today I've listened to you, it's on salvation. Mm -hmm. How one become a member, notice I'm saying, a member of the body of Christ according to Colossians 1, 18. Mm -hmm. And according to 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And according of Ephesians 1 13 and according to Ephesians 2 8 9 and according to Ephesians 4 30. Mm -hmm. According to Galatians 3 and 26, I mean Galatians 3 and 26 and 27, that we are all baptized into the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. But I've heard you, I've listened to you on Acts 2.38. Mm -hmm. So when I read Acts 2.38, Acts 36, 37, 38, Peter preached on the day of Pentecost. He was not speaking to you, Pastor Jennings. He was not speaking to us. He was speaking to the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. They gathered there for a feast. It was prophesied by Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so it disturbs me. <clears throat> and persons believe what they want to believe. But I think that salvation is the most important thing. Yes, sir. And if we don't get salvation right, we can get nothing else right. So what is your question, sir? My question to you, sir. My question to you, sir. Do persons get or have they become born again by Acts 2? 38. All right. Let's go to work in the Bible. And not only that, being that you're emphasizing Israel, are you saying salvation is just for Israel? No. Salvation right. was for the Jews first. Yes. And then yes. salvation for the whole world. Oh, so it is for everybody. So we got to rightly, according to 2 Timothy 2.15, mm -hmm. we must rightly divide. So salvation time. is for everybody. Everyone, but this must be rightly divided because there's different salvation in the Bible. I just want to know is salvation for everybody? For everyone, but everybody don't get saved the oh, way I, Israel got saved. The way I mean, we get saved how, today. How many ways is it to be born again? Now, first on the whole, sir, with, you know, I love you. I love how you demonstrate. Yes. Uh, there are many ways in the Bible. To be born again? No. 
be, be born again, because you, Mr. Jennings, Pastor Jennings, cannot be born again. Sir, how many ways, according to the Bible, is it to be born again? Only one way we can be created. I didn't ask A new that. creature. Uh, sir? But born just, just, just a minute, sir. I didn't ask you how many ways to be created. I ask you how many ways is it to be born again? Because if we are born again, we was already born the first time, which is our natural birth coming from the womb of our mothers. Agreed. But if it says born again, then he's instituting what Jesus declared to be a new birth. New birth. So then, how many ways is it to be born again according to the Bible? It is one way to be born again, and that's Israel to be born again, Jeremiah 31 and 31. So just Israel is born again? Yes, we are created in the body oh, of Christ. Oh, so. See, creation and born again is too different. We're not dealing with creation. No, the body of Christ has to be created anew and become a new creature. So if the body of Christ has to be created anew, how do we get in that body? Very good question. How do we get in? That's, that's, the, that's the best question ever was put to me in my 70 years. How do we get into the body according to the Bible? First Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. Read Hold it. it. Let's go to work in the Bible. Let's go to work in the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 15. 1 through 4. 1 through 4. Follow me in the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. All right. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, mm -hmm. which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, mm -hmm. unless ye have believed in vain. Yes. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, mm -hmm. at verse 4, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. All right, now, which one of those verses tell me how to get into the body? First Corinthians, you have to go back now to Ephesians 1. No, 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 before we, just, just a minute, just a minute, this is, this is your scripture. Yes, but that's the Bible scripture, let's, that's God's let's, word. Here, let's stay right here. Right. No need to hop in the way else until we finish this. No, I already said that's no. self-explanatory. You said that this tells us how to get in the body. It's how to be saved. Correct? How to be saved. How to get into the body. That's how to be saved, it says. So, so, S-A-V-E-D, saved. So we are saved if we keep in memory, which is what? What is preached? That Christ, what is preached. What was preached? The gospel. It's right there. All right. I'm so glad you say that. Now, you're saved if you keep in remember. Saved means to be delivered. That's if, here, if you delivered from a thing, you are saved from it or rescued from it. Would you not agree? I agree 1,000%. So if I'm in the fire, somebody come save me. They come rescue me and get me out of it. Jesus came hmm. to rescue us, save us, get us out of sin. So then, if we're saved by keeping me in remembrance what is preached unto us, Let's see what we got to remember. St. John chapter me 3. No, 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 no. Now just a minute. So. Now just a minute. You are running from no, 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 scripture. No, 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 no. Listen, I gave you time to talk, and I'm still elaborating on the scripture you gave. So let me finish. God give it. Let, let, here, here, here. Let me finish now. I'm elaborating on the scripture, scripture you gave. It's you God said word. say. Is that God word? Oh, yes. Okay. That's all, that's all we're dealing with. Let's rightly divide it. That's all we're dealing with. Okay. All right. You are saved if you keep in remembrance what is preached unto you, lest you believe in vain. I believe that with my whole heart. Oh, yes. Now let's go to the one that taught the apostles because the apostles got to remember what was preached to them. That's right. Luke. Luke chapter 24 and at verse 47. That's what? And that repentance. Oh, we got to remember this. And that repentance. And that repentance. And remission of sins. And remission of sins. Should be preached. Should. 
should be preached. How? In his name. Where? Among all nations. Beginning where? Beginning at Jerusalem. Let's go to Jerusalem. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. This is what Jesus commands. Then Peter and said you unto are them. Saved. This is your scripture. Your scripture. That's the word if of God. This is the scripture you brought. But that's the word of God. I agree. It's God's word. The scripture you presented that I agree with. And I agree 100%. That you are saved if you keep in remembrance what I preached unto you, lest ye believe in vain. And the teaching of the gospel, the teaching of the doctrine that the apostles preached came from Christ. That's right. So I'm going back to the foundation, which is Christ. I disagree. Because other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, the Bible says, which is Jesus Christ. Right. So I have to go to the foundation, the author and finisher and the originator of our faith, of our belief, is not the apostles is the originator, Christ is Christ. the originator, because he's the foundation of the church. All right, let's hear what Jesus said. Can I Still respond to that? Still in Luke 24 and verse 47. Luke 24, 47. And that repentance. This is Christ's teaching. Amen. That repentance. And remission of sins. And remission or removing of sins. Should be preached. Should. If you don't preach it, you're a hypocrite and a heathen. Should and be disobedient. preached. And disobedient. That's right. Should be preached. In what? his name. How? Um, in his name. How? In his name. Beginning where? Among all nations. Wait, beginning. wait, wait. wait. No, just to the Jews. Among all nations. No, just the Hebrews. Among all nations. Just nope. the black folk. Among all nations. Just the people with kinky hair. Among all nations. Beginning where? Among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning where? At Jerusalem. All right, let's forget the, we're going to trail this. Question. First, yes, sir. Sir. Yes. With all respect, with the spirit of God that mm -hmm. lives within me, according to Ephesians 4.30. Mm -hmm. The book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I will challenge you. Well, that's what you're now doing. Hear this now. No, I'm challenging the scripture. Yeah. And, I can, and you can have to fulfill the scripture by 2 Timothy 2.15. Yeah. Now hear what it says. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Now, that a workman, that a laborer be not ashamed rightly. Yes. See, this is, this is the problem that I have on some things that you believe in. Fine. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. The truth of God's word must be, not, not kind of be, must be rightly divided. So where am I wrong at? Well, let me tell you where you're wrong. That's what I want you to do. You are wrong. You went. I took you to Apostle Paul who were called... He was called by Jesus Christ. I Read agree. 1 Corinthians 1. I agree. 1. Now, he on the road to Damascus, Acts 9. Mm -hmm. And sir, with all respect, when Jesus was on earth, yes. and you cannot find me one scripture in that Bible, yes. in the word of God, you, sir, with all respect, cannot yes. find me one scripture where Jesus, when he was on this earth, yes. he walked this earth in the flesh, yes. that he preached the gospel of grace. He preached the gospel of, of grace? grace. What is grace? Grace is a person, according to Titus 2. Grace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just, just, hold, just a minute, just a minute, hold grace up. Grace is a person, Titus 2, 10 and 11. Grace is a person. For the grace of God Who's had that? appeared to Same. all men. Wait a minute. That's just, Jesus just, Christ. Just a minute. Same. Grace is a person. It's a person, and I can show you this person, Saint Jesus. John. All right, give He's me shown. John. St. John chapter 1, uh, and at verse 17. Listen to that, John 1, 17. For the law was given by Moses. The law, now you said Jesus never preached it. Let's see. Here, just a minute. Hold up. No. The law don't was do that. given by Moses. No, no, the law, don't tell me don't do that. No, I got to do it. I got to give you no. Bible. That's What's right. Your the law was given by Moses. Was given by Moses or Musa. But grace. Grace. And truth. And truth. Came by Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? Listen. Now watch this. No, no. Do no, you no, no. believe that? Join us for an epic uh, showdown as we dive deep into the scripture and challenge the teachings of Gino Jennings. Ladies and gentlemen, in this thought-provoking video, our host takes a bold stance by using the Bible to confront the doctrines.
presented by Apostle Chino Jennings. Witness the passionate debate as we explore key biblical passages, uncover interpretations, and <coughs> engage in critical discussions that uh, will leave you questioning and inspired. My respected friend, whether you're a long-term follower of Apostle Gino Janek or just curious about his teachings, this video promises to provide a fresh perspective and encourage viewers to think critically about their faith. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss this unique opportunity to see how scripture is wielded in a lively discussion. Gino Jennings is back at it again. And this time, he is armed with a Bible, with a Bible and a whole lot of hammer. You won't believe this epic embarrassment that unfolds when he takes the stage. As he dives in and into some serious topics, Gino Jennings can't help but sub subwrinkle in his signature weight, leaving the audience in stages just when you think he is about to deliver a powerful message. He flips the scripture, the script with hilarious anecdotes and unaccepted punchliness. Ladies and gentlemen, for misquoting famous verses to share out regus stories about his own experiences. Gino's comedic timing is on point. The crowd can't contain their laughter. And it's clear that he knows he knows how to keep it light while still touching on important themes. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll be laughing so hard. You might just forget the message. But that's the genius of Apostle Gino Janax. He makes spirituality fun and relatable, leaving everyone wondering what he'll say next. My respected friends, so if you're ready for a good laugh and some unforgettable moments, stick around. Watch how this man 
takes on genogenics with nothing but the Bible in hand. And trust me, you won't want to miss the glorious outcome. As the debate heats up, this challenger decides to throw some biblical verses into the mix. Fully confident that he is got the upper hand, but Gino Janice isn't one to back down easily. With quick wit and sharp responses, he turns the table in a way that leaves everyone in stitches. Ladies and gentlemen, just when you think it couldn't get any funnier, our challenger pulls out a verse that he believes will seal the day. But Gino Gino's reaction, pure cold. The crowd erupts in laughter as the unaccepted twists keep coming. You won't believe how this epic confrontation unfolds. Ladies and gentlemen, leading to a moment of absolute embarrassment for our brave challenger. It's a reminder that sometimes humor and humility go hand in hand. So if you're ready for a good laugh and some unforgettable moments, stick it out. In a world where faith often sports virus debates, one man steps up to challenge Apostle Gina Jennings, a prominent religious leader. With the Bible in hand, he perhaps for an epic showdown. Armed with scripture and conviction, this isn't just a battle of words. It's a clash. It's a clash of interpretation. It's a clash of beliefs. As the discussion unfolds, tension rises. The challenger sides words drawing on profound theological insights to question Jennings' teachings. Can he stand from against Apostle Gino Jennings, well-known Krishma, and deep-rooted beliefs. The stakes are high, not just for them, sorry, not just for them, but for everyone watching. As the cripple with the implications of their faith in this powerful and thought-provoking sermon. Apostle Gino Janex delves deep into biblical teachings 
that have captivated audience worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, join us as he breaks down complex scripture, offering insights that challenge conventional interpretations and encourage viewers to reflect on their faith. Discover the relevance of these teachings in today's world and how they can transform your understanding of the Bible. Whether you are a long time of follower or a new to biblical study. This viral sermon promises to enlighten and inspire. Don't miss out on this opportunity to deepen your spiritual journey with Pastor Gino Jennings. Gino Jennings, a prominent figure in modern biblical teachings, he spoke conversations worldwide with his powerful sermons. He delves deep into the scriptures, bringing down into the scriptures, sorry, bringing down complex concepts into relatable messages. His engaging style captivates audience encouraging them to explore their faith more profoundly. Apostle Gino Jennings emphasizes the importance of understanding the Bible in its context, urging believers to see the truth rather than simply accept popular interpretations with passion and conviction. He addresses controversial topics, challenging traditional beliefs that may not align with scripture his bold approach invites listeners to reflect on their spiritual journey, promoting them to question and grow in their understanding of God's Word. It's a gentleman, Gino Jennings. Teachings resonate with many proving that biblical wisdom is not just for scholars but for everyone seeking a deeper connection to their faith. Join the conversation as he inspires a new generation to embrace their spiritual identity. Witness this creeping confrontation that dives deep into doctrine and devotion. Who will come out on top? Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned as we explore the power of the Bible in this unforgettable debate. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this.